Another important difference within the color tab when you're working with HDR is how the scopes function. And scopes are very useful for gauging what's going on with the values. And the scopes are used quite often by professional colorists. So let's take a look. I'll click my scopes button here, and there's my color parade. There are other scopes you can use, such as waveform or vector scope, but I'm going to stick with the parade right now because it makes it easy to see what's going on with the HDR. I'll free up that window and leave it over here at the side. You'll notice that the values pretty much run the entire range here for this clip. It's a little confusing though because it shows a 0 to 1023 10-bit linear scale, and that doesn't really match the logarithmic nature of our ST2084 standard with the PQ curve. We can change that, however. Let's go up here to DaVinci Resolve, Preferences, go to the User tab, Color section, and the very first option is Enable HDR Scopes for ST2084. When you turn that on and save, you'll see the scope readout looks the same. However, the scale changes, and this shows a 0 to 10,000 nit range. It also goes from being linear to logarithmic. You can see that the distance between 100 and 1,000 nits is the same as 1,000 to 10,000 nits. So why is logarithmic good for HDR? Well, aside from emulating motion picture film, it also reserves a small portion of the total data for the brightest brights. And humans have a hard time differentiating small value changes in the brightest areas. And with HDR, that gets extremely bright in terms of luminance. In fact, only about 7% of the data is set aside for the 5,000 to 10,000 nit range. And the remaining 93% is reserved for 0 to 5,000, where we're more likely to see subtle variations. The logarithmic curve comes courtesy of the ST2084 standard using a PQ curve. So what is a PQ curve? A PQ curve is an electro-optical transfer function, or EOTF, that Dolby calls the PQ curve, which is short for perceptual quantizer. So as I mentioned, a PQ curve replaces the standard gamma curve you might use with the SDR project, such as REC 709. Okay, we set the scopes up for HDR, and now we're ready to start grading. And we'll do that in the next video. If you'd like to take a look at this project in its current state, it's saved out as hdrscopes.drp.